Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And if you were watching this video, then you got a Trash Panda subscription box. Now everybody got tote bags this time, but everybody picked different animals or different art forms to make their tote bags. So if you're watching this video, then that means that you picked out painting for how to put your animal on your tote bag. Let's take a look and see what you got in your box and how to use it. So if you picked the painting tote bag, this is what you should see. You should have a couple different paints of different colors. You're gonna have some stencils and a foam brush with a chisel tip. And I'm gonna show you, each of these will be labeled, where the front is and what color paint is gonna go with it. Um, they should also tell you, and your instructions will too, what order to use them in. But the very first thing, very important thing, is to put some newspaper inside your bag because that is gonna make sure that none of the paint that we are going to stencil on there is gonna leak through to the other side. So definitely don't forget that step. Okay, so for the panda, for example, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use the bamboo piece. It's gonna use the green paint to keep it from wiggling around when we're trying to paint and to keep it from lifting up and setting itself down in a new spot, you guys have some paint, or excuse me, you guys have some tape rolled around a straw and use that to secure it in a spot. What we're also gonna do is as we stencil it on, so you'll take your brush, you'll dip it in the paint to get, you don't want too much, you don't want too little. And as you dab that on, you can see with my left hand, I'm kind of holding it in place. Because you don't want the paint to sneak under the edge of the stencil, you only want it to go where the hole in the stencil is. And you want to make sure that you are pushing hard enough that the paint gets deposited on the bag and goes right to the edge of the stencil, but don't put on so much paint that it has to blorb itself underneath the stencil. If you're doing the Jaguar, the leaf goes first with the same green. If you're doing the narwhal, the actual narwhal goes first. And if you are doing the elephant, the leaf is gonna go first for that one as well. And I'll show pictures of those at the end so you can see what they look like, but the process is gonna be the same for each of them. And once you've finished with your first color, we're gonna peel up the tape and then lift that stencil right off. And that should leave you behind uh, an image. And you wanna make sure that you let that dry completely before we move in for the second stencil. For the panda, this is its head. And we want it so it's laying on that bamboo. So its nose is gonna be kind of at the end of that bamboo leaf right there. And again, I'll show pictures of, of how those are getting built, but the process will be the same. You'll put your stencil on, you'll tape your stencil down, you'll use your foam brush to dab on the paint. And there are a couple situations where you're putting a lighter color over a darker color. And in those instances, we're gonna use multiple layers. So I'm showing you this first layer here, and then we're gonna let that first layer completely dry after we get it all the way to the edges. So that's the first layer, gonna let it dry, and you can still see the green in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a second layer on. And you can dab it on you know, pretty thick, just like I said, be careful so that the paint doesn't squelch underneath the stencil because then it won't be the right shape. And for this particular one where we're putting white over another color, the elephant has this as well, we're going to go ahead and do a third layer. And just make sure that it dries all the way before you put those subsequent layers on. Um, you can set it outside, you can use a hair dryer if you want to kind of speed that process up just a little bit. And then when that is completely dry, we'll lift up that stencil. So we are almost there, almost ready for that 
third stencil. And in the case of the panda, it's going to be black. And that middle kind of U or bridge shape is going to be the arm. The little tiny ones are face, the eyes, and the nose. And that last little curve right there is the leg. So that should help you kind of line it up. Because it'll be the spots that don't have any white paint. And we will go ahead and tape that down. And guys, you'll have to forgive me, I made a little bit of an error here. I thought I was too cool and could only use one piece of tape and some of that black is going to squelch underneath that stencil. So I would highly recommend using multiple pieces of tape just the way we did for the first two stencils for that last stencil as well. The nice thing about the black is that uh, it's such a dark color that you'll probably only need one coat. So we are super close to the end. All right, you're gonna let that one dry as well. And then when you're finished, you will have this awesome panda on your bag. You can see where the black kind of squelched through to the underside just a little bit. Um, which I don't think ruins it, but if you use more tape, you probably will not have that problem. Thank you for following along, guys. I hope you enjoyed this month's Trash Panda Treasure Boxes. You've got all the information to sign up for next month. Also want to take this opportunity to remind you of two things we got going on in the teen section this summer. Every week we have a new prize drawing. It doesn't matter whether you have entered in the weeks previous or not, and all we want you to do is fill out a bookmark and on that bookmark you'll just say if you've read for 30 minutes each day that week you can text it to us you can drop it off in the drive through you can bring it to any one of the desks and as long as you do it before we close on Saturday you'll be entered in that week's prize basket drawing so if you are doing some reading listening to audiobooks reading graphic novels any of those things you might want to try to get involved with that number two we still have the scavenger hunt going on upstairs, so if you haven't followed all the clues to get the prize and unlock the safe, you might want to try it. It doesn't take too long, not a bad way to spend an afternoon. Again, thank you for following along. I hope to see you guys next month for another Trash Panda Treasure Box. Bye!